This is the new Blues Mojo. It's a small, inexpensive, no card companion device that measures energy usage in a battery powered system. In this video, we'll look at how to connect Mojo to your project and how to use it alongside a note card. To get started, let's switch over to my desk. Here, I have a Mojo connected to a Blues Cell Plus Wi Fi starter kit. A couple things to note. First, notice the two JST connectors on Mojo, one labeled BAT and connected to a LiPo battery, and a second labeled LOAD and connected to my note carrier. Mojo contains a Coulomb counter and measures the electrical current drawn from the connected battery. Mojo reports its collected data to a note card over I2C, which you can easily wire using its quick ports. Notice how my Mojo is connected to a note carrier F by a quick cable. Mojo's other quick port, which I'm not using, is provided in case you want to daisy chain other quick peripherals. What I'm showing is the easiest way to hook a Mojo up, but note that we're also open sourcing Mojo's hardware design in case you want to build Mojo into your own custom projects. And the coolest part of all of this is, the note card automatically detects if a Mojo is connected over I2C and already knows how to read data from it through some simple APIs. Let's switch back over to my browser to look at how it works. Here, I have my note card connected to our in-browser terminal, and I'm gonna start by running a card.version request. We added Mojo support in the 7.5.2 release of the note cards firmware, so you wanna make sure your device is running at least that version before continuing. Once you do have an updated version, there are two ways you can get data from a Mojo using a note card. First, you can take a reading at any time using the new card.power request. This request returns the current temperature, voltage, and most importantly for our purposes, milliamp hours, which is set to the number of milliamp hours that were used since the Mojo was connected or since this request was last reset. You can reset that counter with the same request using the request true flag. The idea here is you can either reset this counter before you run some experiment or before you're ready to start counting, or you could just let this number continue to go up as you consume power and just use the delta, basically the change in the milliamp hours between readings to determine how much power was consumed. The somewhat easier way to gather Mojo data, at least in my opinion, is to utilize the note cards underscore log environment variable. When a Mojo is connected, your note card is gonna automatically start saving underscore log.qo notes each time it powers on its modem. By setting your note card's underscore log environment variable to power, your note card is going to start synchronizing those log notes each time you perform an outbound sync with NoteHub. What this saves you is you don't have to manually call card.power in your own firmware and sort of manually accumulate that data into notes. You can just set the environment variable and let the note card take care of all of that for you. Although with this approach, you may want to use the card.power requests minutes argument. When you set minutes, the note card will create an underscore log.qo note at the interval you specify, and that's in addition to each time it powers up its modem. So with this request, I'm telling my note card to create an underscore log.qo note once an hour. Regardless of how you configure your note card, once you have your data flowing, you can switch back over into NoteHub and look at the underscore log.qo events that are coming in. I've already filtered for them in my NoteHub project. And the main thing to look at is that you'll see that this milliamp properties is available in these notes and that it is going up because I'm measuring the amount of current that my project is consuming over time. You can route these log entries to your cloud of choice. You can use the Node Hub API to pull this data out for your own analysis, or you can use this new export functionality we recently put into Node Hub. Uh, this one I find especially convenient here because it's easy to get these readings into a CSV file that you can then use to build graphs or do your own analysis on whatever it is you're building. The cool thing about Mojo is it allows you to measure energy consumption on deployed devices in real world conditions. You can use Mojo to get an accurate picture of what normal usage of your device looks like, or you can use Mojo to run some experiments, maybe tweak some values in your firmware, deploy those out, and use Mojo to see how that affects your overall energy usage. So give Mojo a shot and let us know what you think. 
And to get updates on all things new at Blues, sign up for our developer newsletter at dev.blues.com slash developer dash news.